Hi, my name is Kyle Ward, and I'm a music game developer. I develop uh, music and content for music games. The thing about it that I love is that every single day I'm doing something different. I, I work with different people. I, I Sometimes I'm sitting at the computer, but I absolutely love it all, and it, to me it's not even work. It's just, just fun. <laughs> I really like the concept. I Ever since I was little, I loved electronic music, and I love the thought of being interactive with it. And so uh, I like to tell people that I'm sort of in the interactive media field, uh, which is not, to me, not just multimedia, but it's actually getting people to interact with media, and whether it's music or uh, or video or any any type of media and it's always a plus when people are doing exercise or extra gaming too as you can tell my latest project which is re-rave i'm sort of the uh, executive producer for the entire project which is a touch screen based music game uh, it's been fun for me because a lot of times when we're at these events or at these shows playing these games people have so many times asked for what about something for the hands uh, we, we we love what what we've done with the with the dance games but let's do something with hands, and, and let's may, maybe if someone's in a wheelchair, maybe how, how can we have how can we have them be part of it as well? Music games for like the past decade have relied on scrolling and overlapping, so Rerave is the very first game of its kind that breaks away from that. It lets you use the entire screen, uh, which makes it fun. Uh, you can have lower levels that are absolutely just as fun as the the hard levels that people are mastering. Actually, all of these products collectively have sort of made it what it is today, so it's really exciting. Uh, let's see, I've, I've worked on several dance games throughout the years. Uh, I worked on In the Groove, I worked on Pump It Up Pro, I worked on iDance System, which is right behind us right now, and now ReRave. Well, these games have typically been around since 1998. Um, there's a couple different companies that have made uh, various dance games over the years. Positive Gaming works uh, really closely with uh, the, the school and the fitness market. I originally connected with Positive Gaming because they sort of stood for the same things that I did, just basically having fun and, and being social um, and, and meeting new friends and building new communities. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with what positive gaming stands for. Yeah. Um, but this particular product, I'd say, is, is highly inspired um, from the past. But uh, it sort of reinvents the genre by making it a multiplayer or you know, a group activity. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're dancing in place, which is a lot of exercise generally. Um, to, to step patterns and you're following like a, a music uh, piano scroll on the screen and it, it seems like it's it's might be complicated but there's levels for all ages I mean we've seen people who are six all the way up to you know 60 70 plus that actually can play this game